When I first read the script written by Brad Inglesby, it completely took my breath away. Every episode ends on a real cliffhanger. I sat up till the early hours of the morning reading every single episode. I had never read a character who was able to pull off so much in terms of how she copes, how she deals with people, and she's extraordinary at her job. So I felt enormous admiration for a person like that. Kate wanted to pursue the character in a way that was lovely as a writer to have someone who wants to put in the time like that and dig deep. Eventually, it became Kate's creation. I trusted her to make dialogue changes because I felt convinced that she knew this character better than I did. Kate was constantly adding things. I mean, we would rehearse the scene, block the scene, and then she would say, Mary would probably just do this. Or like, should I be eating something, like some junk food? Like, how do we make a new iteration of it that's even more mayor? It's definitely been, I'd say, one of, if not the most challenging role I've ever played, just because of how enormous it was, the sheer volume of story, the number of characters, and then the dialect. All right, everybody, put your gloves on, do a grid search, mark anything seems out of place, so you can photograph it. Anyone from Delaware County will know that the dialect is very complicated. It's a very subtle one, which makes it harder to pick up. And it can also sound Southern if you don't do it right. There were certain check-in words that I would have, like water. Get your water bottle ready. The trickiest part are the O's. Going home alone on my own, which is very different to going home alone on my own. I need to walk out of here and go home. And every once in a while I'd say, Brad, you give me seven O's in this one line. I don't know what the hell to say. Oh, wait, it just came to me. That was stupid. Goddamn idiotic. If you're working on a dialect, you can start with the sound changes. You can start with the rhythms. You can start with certain melodies. You can start anywhere. You just chip away at it until you eventually can pull the whole thing together. Kate really does have this prodigious work ethic. We just drilled it and worked it, and it was constant. She was utterly committed to doing this well, to doing it properly, to honoring the local culture, and being able to shoot locally like that is very helpful. We were really trying to be as specific as we could to the area. In addition to that, we would like do it with costume. Our costume designer would be texting me pictures from the Wawa convenience store, just of people in the line. We would spend so much time distressing every item of clothing with scrubbing brushes and pulling holes in things, and all her clothes feel like clothes. They don't feel like costumes. I told the costume designer that I wanted to wear hip pads and butt pads, and she practically cried she was so happy. She said, actresses never ask me for that. Uh, we're just asking anyone who knows anything to please come forward. Maybe it's a serial killer. Christ, Mom. I mean, it is the third girl, Mayor. A thing that became clearer to me while making the show was that we were really talking about people who'd been affected by trauma trying to learn to move on from their trauma. There's a scene where Siobhan comes home that's when all of the things that she hasn't been able to say or hasn't been allowed to say come out. We don't even talk, what are you talking about? We don't Siobhan. even come talk on, about hey, him anymore. On, and hey. I hate you for that. I hate you. You should have been the one to find him. Not me. Not me. When I first read that scene in the script, I just cried. Sometimes as an actor, it's just horrible shooting certain scenes. And that scene was very upsetting and uh, extremely painful. Kate and Ngauri and I had a conversation about what is going to make us feel like we've achieved a real moment. Maybe have less people on set and not necessarily have the time pressure that we would have in a, a, a different scenario. It was very kind of intimate and personal. It was just heartbreaking to film. It was very hard to differentiate between wanting to support and help Angari in performing the scene and having to also keep so much reserved because that's how Mayor handles the scene. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kate, as an actor, she's so able to just cover a gamut of emotions and qualities where you can see Mayor being super focused on the work she's doing, but at the same time, is able to sort of very closely under the surface is a very vulnerable woman who needs to be loved and wants to love too. Yeah, I think this was kind of a one-time thing. What does it have to be? My life's complicated. It was really clear for me to see where Richard would fit into her life and what was required 
to be some sort of relief for Mayor. Do you ever give yourself a break? Are you about to tell me I look exhausted? No, but it seems like you're carrying a lot of heavy stuff, and I, you know, I wonder if anybody ever does anything for you. We are dealing with dark and tragic events in the show, but I think in order for an audience to want to stick around each week, it can't be too heavy all the time. And so the show has a lot of humor in it. There's a scene where Evan says, good night, Mayor. And in one of the rehearsals, the way he delivered it, he was like, have a good night, Mayor. Good night, Mayor. Don't you have a good night, Mayor? Craig and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And I was like, wait, just say that the next time. And so we shot some of these things that ended up in the show and messing around and kind of finding it on set. The first scene I shot was, was fun. It's where we're at the funeral. Listen up! And then he announces out of guilt in front of everyone at his wife's wake. I had an affair with Helen Fahey. <laughs> in spite of these tragic events, there's a lot of laughter in this community. Listen to me, affairs, a strong word, very strong. It happened twice. <laughs> Three times tops. The Wayne Potts sequence was a particularly fun sequence to design. The location that we found was real location that was a bar in the front and a house in the back. The set decoration was incredible and just looked so real and scary. Logistically, we had to really understand the space. We had to understand exactly what would happen to Evan. I think they did a count on like three, two, one, bang. They shot me doing that and then set up a pyrotechnic that had blood in it and then shot that going on the wall. And then the rest of the day, I had a bullet hole in my face and I was laying on the ground. <laughs> Kate was running all around my head. I'm like, please don't step on me. <laughs> I had never held a gun before playing this part. We didn't want her to come off as an action star. We wanted to make sure that it read as an unusual event in the life of Mayor Sheehan. The hardest part of any mystery show, really, is sticking the landing. The ending has to be surprising, and yet it has to be rewarding as well. I was not able to predict what was coming. Which is exciting. You want to be a part of something where you don't know what's coming next. I always like theorize about who done it, and I never get it right. So I was very shocked. In a small town, you have the opportunity to sort of investigate all the families and to see the effects that the crime has had and get involved in everybody's personal stories. A suspect is wanted in a murder investigation. The truth comes out, and then the worst thing in the world that you can imagine as a mother happens. I think that moment in the car where Lori blows up at Mare, she's been holding on to so much that it's just a moment where it all comes out. Why couldn't you just leave it alone? It's my Ryan! My Ryan! Lori's life is completely ruined because Mare figures it out. We wanted to make sure that landed as a surprise and a twist, but that you would have an empathy for characters that you didn't before. We worked so hard to keep it a secret. I hope that the audience is as blown away as we all were by who the real killer is.